Dimitri, congratulations. You've come through an absolute tough examination there against Dave Chisnell. Just sum up how you're feeling for us right now. Well, obviously very happy. I uh, managed to play against the last winner on the on the tour, either way. And, you know, yeah, a massive win. Very simple. When the draw was done, is that the toughest tie that you could have got? Uh, I think I've played a, a, like a whole lot stronger in the previous two World Grand Prix. Uh, I lost against Dirk van Davenboer, who was on fire that tournament and got all the way to the final. I lost against... Um, Ryan Searle and I think I played a 95 average you know normally without doubles that's like a hundred plus average so you know I've been playing really good games just wasn't winning and I think this time I managed to win because I won the bull uh, it's also the thing my manager says winning that bull was this game so important and I started off with a double straight away in my first three darts and just kept the scoring on uh, I kept them under pressure uh, so yeah <sighs> job done job done and honest to God this is one of the rare tournaments that the Dreammaker doesn't have a particularly good record in. I know you've spoken <laughs> about it openly. Is that extra pressure and do you think about that going into the World Grand Prix? I just think it's all about more experience. I'm a young guy. I've got, if I continue what I'm doing, I've got heaps of tournaments, heaps of years in front of me. So, yeah, just keep your feet grounded. Don't, don't rush ahead. Don't run ahead. Um, Right now I've got a little baby and she's got to first learn how to crawl before she can walk, first learn how to walk before she can run, you know, that's how I work in my career and I want to be a good example for her and my brothers, so yeah, I'm just happy with this win right now and I've got to do better the next one, well I feel I've got to do better the next one because it's going to be a great game anyway. You're in that horrible third quarter of the draw, if you were to go on and win this or even make the final, would this be one of the best runs you've ever had in a TV tournament? Of course not. Guys, come on, I managed to win a major. Like, what a question, you know? <laughs> yeah, but the calibre of players that you've got to come through, is that better than when you won the World Match Play? Think about it. I beat Adrian Lewis, Glenn Durant, Gary Anderson. How many world titles did I beat in those three rounds? And then, in the first and second round, I won against players who never lost against me before. And that tournament, it all happened, so... No. Very simple. No. New equipment as well. How are you yeah. settling with the new dart? Uh, very simple. Target. I love it. Everything about it. All the equipment. I love it. There is nothing I've got to worry about. I've been checking it out. And all the checks that I've been doing, that I was doing in the past, these checks are just... It works. It's good. It's what I want. So, yeah. Even in tough days, even if in days that I'm not feeling comfortable, the darts, the equipment are still making me playing really good. Dimitri, thank you very much. No, no problem, guys. Thank you. Dimitri, it's a very different dart you used in T3 yourself. Have you adapted quicker than you expected? Uh, no, no, no. Um, the darts that I'm using now is the darts that I was using so many years ago. You can go on YouTube and put in Dimitri Vandenberg, Roby John Rodriguez. The shape of that barrel is exactly the same one that I'm using now. Roby smashed me 4-0 then, but come on guys, that's like 10, 11 years ago, who cares? It's like, how do you call it, Deceniago, 10 years, so, nah, I'm happy with what I'm using. It's something that I can be looking at and say, I'm comfortable with this, I can get confidence with this. It's only practice, hard work now, and get ready for the world, so this is a massive win, this is a massive step, on to the next one into the business end of the season now what do you feel you can achieve between now and the end of the year anything that's in front of me uh, I'm not going to walk ahead I'm not going to think ahead I'm not going to focus on my dreams I'm just going to focus on what's in front of me now I've got to put in the time I've got to work hard uh, I want to make my family my brothers and myself proud also obviously my new uh, sponsor right now today I'm a proud young man how much of a lift does this win give you against Dave who's just coming off winning that European Tour event last week? Definitely a massive lift. Uh, I was going into that game and I was expecting anything and also everything because that's exactly what Dave can do. And this game, we all played, me and Dave played the best on our own throw. And yeah, luckily I won the ball and that's why I managed to win this game. Cheers, Dave. No problem. Jimmy, does it show how important that bull up is, especially in these, these short formats? Yeah, it definitely did in this game. Uh, I managed to win that first set 3 1. Dave missed, I think, three darts to go 2 all. And then I just go straight away double 12. I was like, oh, a relief. Go down, 
one up in sets and you just know if you now make a mistake that's all right if it would have been one nil down then you know don't make any mistake again because you'll be gone you'll be out of the tournament so yeah he missed i took advantage and then afterwards i just came back and i was a bit more relaxed i was like oh that's a massive first set you won come on just make it happen now and i know a couple of years ago i played against mervyn king i managed to go one up in sets and i ne never really turned up again and i uh, was in my knowledge of don't do it again don't repeat history make history better so i did learn from it so get in you've been there time and time again in these big tournaments but mm. what's it like in that final leg shootout you've got to go and do your business i think today showed the experience that i am possessing um, the calm that i have in myself but yeah keep your feet grounded you can play in an absolute amazing tournament, but the next tournament, you're out first round. I've had it in the past. I've played beautiful Premier Leagues, and uh, I go into um, play championship finals, for instance. You played a good season, you're in the top 32 draw, which means you're playing one of the better players this in the year, and then you're losing first round. And, you know, th those are things. Oh, it's another smash on the head. Yeah, my experience is just getting me stronger and stronger every year, and... That's my good luck. I'm a young guy. I've got time on my side. I've got H on my side.